Hello everyone, welcome to our new weekend game, Lauren the Amazon Princess. Uh, I'm pretty sure some of you, someone far back suggested it, maybe it feels like it, but anyways. So here we have it. Let's do like that. Ooh, awesome. Um, and yeah, it's sort of RPG-ish and a, a, I guess a bit date-ish and... Um, no one has any armor, <laughs> but you know, um, just start, see what happens. Ah, uh, standard, please. Inside the monastery, there is one lit room at this late hour. Just enough light to see the empty pages of a thick book. A hooded monk leans over the desk inside with a quill in hand. I am the monk. I am here to write a tale so epic that I cannot sleep until it is told. So here I write, the tale of the Amazon Princess Lauren. I start this tale from the very beginning, back in a time when the world was blissfully unaware of the turmoil to come. We begin high in the mountains, deep in a mighty fortress. A sword slices the head of a training dummy clean off and it falls in pieces around the feet of a tall, raven-haired woman. Every morning, the servants would mend the training equipment so that it may be destroyed again by their princess's hand during the next training session. One sword was not enough for this fierce warrior. No, she considered a shield dead weight and an empty hand a death wish. Princess Lauren would only fight with a sword in each hand. Where are the other dummies? There are none left, my grace. She was displeased to learn that her training would end so early today. She crossed her arms and start stared down her attending servants. And perhaps one of you should fetch a sword. The slaves gulped the munition after having witnessed what damage their princess, princess could do. But before anyone could move, the piercing cry of a griffin fell from the skies. Just then, a messenger ran into the training grounds, panting for breath. But Princess Lauren, the captain, she's returned. Alone, your majesty. Lauren broke into a run. She ran as fast as she could to the main square in, uh, inside the citadel. The Amazon scouts had landed with their griffins just as she arrived. The captain of the guards, Reza, looked extremely grave as she approached her. Lauren knew instantly that the news the scouts carried would not be a routine report. Your majesty... Tell me. A scout stepped forward and placed a hand over her heart in salute. Queen Karen has been lost. Lauren's face paled. She disappeared into the night. As of now, we do not know what happened to her. There's not a trace? We searched high and low, your majesty. She's not in Amazon territory. Then we have no choice in this matter. With the queen lost, Princess Lauren must become our new queen. No! My mother's still alive and still the queen! She's not dead! You did not find her body! Searching for her must be our top priority. Your Highness, you know that it's against the law of the cit to leave the Citadel. Your mother's fate is too uncertain. That is precisely why we must try to f That is precisely why we must try to find her! I will search for her myself if I have to. Her hard glare challenged anyone to say otherwise. New quest, find Queen Karen. Find the missing Amazon Queen. Reward, 1,000 exp. You just discovered your first quest. Quests give large experience points rewards once completed. To view the quest screen, use the Q key or click on the icon that appeared on the top right of the screen. Clicking that icon will also let you access the party management screen. In the party management screen, you can also review and equip each character, check the available skills, manage the party inventory, and of course, the quest screen. Your Highness. Reza looked conflicted. Your mother appointed me as the enforcer of Amazon law, and I must decree, if you leave the Citadel, you forfeit all support from the Amazons. What? When you abandon the Citadel, you abandon your title. That is what the Great Mothers dictated. Lauren took in a deep breath. She would be denied the armory, the military, or even access to the royal treasury. Then so it must be. I will find my mother by myself. L Lauren! 
Bressa closed her mouth and looked to her side. Majesty. Do not apologize, Commander. You are doing your duty, and the Queen will honor that when she returns. The Amazons may not be able to help you, but we will give you a promising individual who will aid you. The monk pauses for a moment, looking at what was just written before continuing. And that is how it all began. Lauren is a powerful fighter, but lacks healing skills. Your playable character has a specialization class hero that will be very helpful throughout the whole game. Now it is time to choose your character. Either Eleanor, a female elf, she traded her freedom for protection at a very young age, or Sairon, he has been a slave for his entire life, born from a, cap born from a captured imperial soldier. Nah, I wanna be the elf. Ooh, okay, warrior. Warriors have lots of hit points, can wear heavy armor, but move slowly and have limited long-range combat skills. Thieves are very quick and can inflict deadly blows to incapacitate targets, but have fewer hit points and can cannot wear heavy armor. I like th I like the thief class when I play RPGs, but I play it as if I were a warrior, but this isn't really the same, so I don't know. Uh do 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 Ah, she feels like a thief. Thieves are weaker than warriors and usually stay in the back row on the battlefield, though if well equipped can sustain some damage. Remember that you can use Lauren's guard action to protect any thief or mage positioned in the back row. An elf girl? Princess watched as the elf bowed to her, bowed to her politely. We found her starving and cold. Her allegiance lies completely with the Amazons and with you. I was separated from my tribe by orcs as a child. If it were not for the generous Amazons, I would have died. I will work my hardest every day to repay this debt. In your interest, your highness, she is most talented in healing magic. She can tell me herself. Well, elf, how are you of use to me? I have served you and her majesty dutiful at, dutifully at the... Um, healing quarters, training grounds, or royal palace. I think this gives us... Will, maybe? But I wanted to be sort of healish, I think. I think training ground gives you strength, so it's a warrior thing. Thief attack power skill. Uh, we want skill. Mage. I think Royal Palace is, gives us skill. Royal Palace, specifically in the Queen's service. Ooh, yes, skill. Gain plus two in skill. Yay. You serve my mother? How? I do anything she asks of me. Have not seen you around the palace. My mother already has a personal servant, and he's not you. Princess Eleanor belongs to the Queen's harem. She has proven pro proven deep loyalty and obedience. Laura's eyes drifted toward down Eleanor's body as of seeing her for the first time. She was a small, petite elf, so it was hard to imagine how a self-respecting Amazon could find her attractive. She was not tall or very muscular, and her skin was too smooth. She is among the select elves available to her majesty, if that day were to ever come. For some reason, Lauren was relieved to hear that this elf was yet untouched by her mother and found a mysterious joy in having her serve her instead. What? Your skills of the bedroom are of no use to me, so do not expect to share the same duties. Eleanor smirked, used to people treating her a certain way upon hearing her duty, but... Yes, ma'am. <laughs> She made up the beds. What actual use will you be of to me? Eleanor could not reveal that her actual service to the queen was far more illicit and that her position in the queen's harem was only a front. Eleanor was a spy and an assassin. I know my way around a battlefield. For the last several annual proving competitions, I've been sponsored to enter and have won many titles. For this year's proving, I was granted top place in... Magic Trials, Target Challenge, Arena. Okay, so I'm presuming this is skill. I sort of want some magic too, but since she's a thief, maybe we should actually work mostly on skill. Yes, her skill with a bow and arrow rivals that of an Amazon's. Yay, more skill! Ooh, we acquired a small crossbow. Not only has she demonstrated superior fighting ability, but she's extremely loyal. Tell them. I was allowed the honor of accompanying my mistress to the tavern, where she was disrespected by severely rude drunkards. They were looking for a fight, so I... Offered to teach them a lesson, sneaked my mistress from the tavern, reasoned with them. Um... 
I think this gives us skill. I was able to save her from an unnecessary fight. I distracted them while she slipped outside and cloaked myself to make my escape as well. Yeah, more skill. It is true. She respected her mistress deeply, as she would respect you. She did not fail to craft a present for her mistress for the winter solstice. Tell her what was the last gift you made. I show my loyalty to her by giving her... Beautiful bow, a rare book. I don't know, maybe we should have some will at this point, or we just do super, super skill. Ah, uh, a beautiful bow. I carved a ceremonial bow to represent my mistress's superior skill in archery to all of the Citadel. She allowed me to use the bow in the proving competitions, earning the envy of all. Yay, more skill. We are the most skilly thief ever. She received the gift very well and I was praised. I was happy just to give her a small emblem of her great strength and wisdom. Unfortunately, even my mighty mistress is not, was not invincible. She succumbed to a grave illness, and in her last days, she called me to her side. She granted me one reward for my service, and I chose... Ooh, alright. So, one of these. But, I mean, we're going for all the thief skills, so leather armor, I think. Her armor has kept me safe and secure. I'm sometimes confused for my mistress. Because it is so resemb it so resembles her. I feel as if she's with me even now. We got some leather armor. And her loyalty does not end there, your highness. Eleanor has demonstrated an act of a true servant of the Citadel. I was approached by another slave. They spoke of fantastic lands and cities, and life away from the Citadel. I associated with this person to the point that he confided in me a plan to escape. He wished for me to come with him, and I... Convinced him not to escape, report him to authorities, refused, but helped to free him. Oh, convinced him not to escape. I needed to only explain to him the benefits of staying and how marvelous the Citadel already was. He would have surely been helpless if he left our walls, so I attempted to save his life, and thankfully he listened. Such a skilled tongue will be very likely will very likely be useful to you on your travels. Ooh, some will. Ah, that was actually what I was going for, so that's awesome. It will be a difficult loss to get let go of our most prized slave. However, I will trust you with no one less, my princess. Are you happy with your choices, or do you want to start the creation again? Nah, I'm actually happy with that. It would be useful to travel with someone like you. Are you willing to risk your life for my cause? My life is yours. I suppose you will be satisfactory. Lauren demanded an immediate departure, as leaving could not be too soon with her mother missing. Ooh. <gasps> Chapter 1 The Rescue Select your game difficulty. Difficulty will affect enemy strength, the impact of elemental resistance, and other aspects of the game. If you played RPGs before, we recommend the normal. I will go with normal. I think we can actually handle that. This is the def default difficulty level. You should be able to win most battles by trying different combinations of weapons or heroes. However, the boss battles can be tough. Drats boss battles. Remember that if you find the game too easy or too hard as you play, you can change difficulty at any time from the preferences screen. <laughs> so as soon as we meet a boss, as soon as we have a boss battle, ooh, this looks like Ganov. I'm just gonna change to easy. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, Thorne instructed Eleanor to take care of any business in the Citadel before they left. You will be able to shop in each town you travel to. At the start, you have only base equipment and are carrying a few potions. Potions will be very useful in some battles, especially at the hard difficulty level. All items you own will be stored in the party inventory, which you can access anytime by pressing the I key. Um, party setup. Review your party setup before proceeding. Uh, yes, back row and front row. Uh, finish. Castle. What does this do? Eleanor and Lauren worked up to Commander Brezza. You remain, Your Highness. Have you reconsidered claiming title of queen? Absolutely not. I am preparing for my journey. I do not know how long I will be gone, but my hope is for not very. Of course. You seem suspiciously eager to forget Queen Karen. How dare you! You're a slave. You speak when you're spoken to. Silence. She's speaking in my interest. I'm surprised in you, too. This is our queen you are dismissing so easily. Do not forget that she will return, and will hear of your actions to rescue her. Y yes, Majesty. I mean only to enforce Amazon traditions, not to dishonor Karen. Queen... Karen. Bressa gulped and corrected herself, shooting a sharp look towards Eleanor. 
Moments earlier, Reza had been singing her praises, but now there was an uncomfortable air between them. <gasps> what? Can we go again? Any news of my mother? Has she returned? Not yet, your highness. I'm sorry. Lauren frowned and took in a deep breath. Okay. So, shop. Do we have any money? Um, we have a hundred. Does she- does Lauren have any... Weapons? Uh, I don't know at this point. Um, uh, oh, okay. Which weapons Lauren can use? Okay, okay, okay. Um, nah, I'm presuming we're good at the po at this point in time. Uh, does Lauren have- oh yeah, Lauren has weapons, she has stuff, um, do we have weapons? We do- do we have the leather armor? Looks like it. Wait, how do I know where's- ooh. Um. These are deadly class, when used together with mages, they are average fighters, and while someone can cast some magic, they are not as powerful as mages. However, they are masters of incapacitating opponents taking advantage of any existing target's conditions. In fact, all thieves' specialization skills take advantage of an existing condition to deliver an often deadly blow. The hero is a unique specialization class. It's extremely rare to find people able to cast the hero line spells. All the hero spells are aimed to protect, heal, and empower their allies. Thus, it is natural that they are highly sought after by everyone in the realm since they are among the most valuable members of any party. Ooh, we do have a healing spell. Okay. Well, oh, actually, this is a better one, right? Wait, what are the... Oh, here we go. Damage 10. This... Uh, it gives plus 5 damage, but minus critical hit. Ah, plus... Ah, whatever. Let's do it. There you go. Short sword. Ah, that's good. Do we have any better... Oh, fine leather armor. Uh, plus one defense. Ah, uh, you know, that's good. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, cool. Uh, close. Alright, so let's leave. <gasps> Review your party setup before proceeding. Okay, yeah, I've done that. Upon seeing Eleanor approach the front gates, Lauren demanded an immediate departure. They would leave the security of the Citadel and cross the plains of Aravorn to search for her mother, no matter how long it took to find her. The first place to visit was the town of Grimoire in the Human Empire. Eleanor's first goal was to reach the city of Grimoire, the capital of the Human Empire, but it was a dangerous road, plagued by goblins and bandits. When they arrived, however, they would be able to begin their investigation. New quest, travel to Grimoire. Travel to the nearby Human Empire's town of Grimoire. 100 XP. Lauren and her ally were walking down a road in the middle of the plains, en route to the town of Grimoire. Even though Lauren was quiet, Eleanor knew that she was thinking only of saving her mother. The only clue we have is that my mother's guards have disappeared as well. If we find them, then we find my mother. That's a good plan, your highness. The relationship was as one might expect between a servant and royalty. Eleanor quietly followed the princess and would only praise and agree with her when given the chance to speak. She was used to being less formal, but then she had never served royalty before. Lauren noticed nothing about this behavior because she was quite used to it. This is the only way out from the citadel, so the queen must have passed by here. It would be very helpful if there were any witnesses to unusual activity. But, your highness, may I ask a question? Lauren glanced at her with a frown. This was the first time she had dared to speak out of turn. If you must, but I cannot promise they will answer. Why aren't we using a griffin to travel now? They're faster than walking and much safer. You fool, aren't you aware of the laws of my people? Eleanor took a step back, fearful for her life. F for the most part, yes. My choice to leave the citadel took away my privileges. The griffins are not allowed to me. Couldn't you change the laws? As queen, but I'm not queen. My mother is. I see. I am sorry that I asked, your highness. Now you know. Don't forget it. I guarantee that I shall not, your highness. They traveled mostly quiet through the day until it faded to night. The land ran flat with spare boulders along the path. This looks like a good place to camp. 
Lauren, however, did not stop walking and continued on without a word. Your Highness, keep up. Elnor sprang up from the ground where she was about to start a fire and heard after her. Lauren seemed prepared to travel a lot further that night. Eleanor steeled herself for a very long walk, but she found it more and more difficult to keep her position behind Lauren. She was beginning to walk much slower. Lauren's feet were dragging against the ground rather than proudly stomping ahead like earlier in the day. Eleanor knew the princess, that Princess Lauren was tired. We should stop for the night and make camp. My mother's out there waiting for someone to save her. That someone is me. Lauren was not going to stop for even a moment until Queen Karen was recovered. It was now Eleanor's job to keep her from sabotaging herself with her own determination. Uh... Friendly, maybe? You will be no use to your mother running on no sleep. Lauren halted and spun around. What did you say to me? Eleanor knew that her life... Then that her life was over. She was too used to speaking freely with her previous mistress and her tongue got away from her. I'm sorry, princess. What I meant to say is... I am too exhausted to continue. Lauren shifted her weight and put her hands on her hips. You? I'm used to hard labor, but I was always granted rest at night, by the grace of your highnesses. Lauren evaluated her, though only superficially. Deep down, she was more tired than Eleanor. I had thought you stronger than this. Lauren pushed past her into the bushy grass. She sat down cross-legged, her back straight, and her arms resting on each knee, just like Amazon royalty. Lie down, Elf. I will give you only a few hours. Do not waste them. Getting Lauren to stop was enough for Eleanor, and she decided not to waste her mistress's generosity. She promptly walked over and laid in the grass next to her, but not too close. Eleanor woke a few hours later to Lauren calling her. She did not see Lauren sleep a wink. However, Lauren's speed and alertness had improved, letting her know that she might have rested after all. You have. I have seen no population since we left. I was told the Grimoire settlement was on this route. Where is it? Is it past that mountain? Which mountain, mistress? You see, before us. You've instructed me to walk straight for it. Princess, that is not a mountain. It is the city of Grimoire. Lauren stopped once again to turn to her servant. That is not a city. It's too large. It is a large, walled city, like the citadel. Amazons? Lauren reached for her sword, bristling at the thought of a competing tribe so close to her home. No! Grimoire is the capital of the Empire, the nation of men. Please put down away your sword. We are not to make war with them. Lauren looked at her blade, frowned, and slid back into its sheath. Others can build cities as great as the Citadel? Are you sure of what you speak? Yes. Castles can be constructed by any nation with the proper materials. You didn't know that? Lauren winced from the insinuation that she was not well educated. I know that the Amazons are superior to all other nations, so the Citadel is superior to all other castles. Yes, Your Grace. Eleanor learned just how sheltered Lauren truly was. Even her former mistress knew all about the outside world, but then she was allowed to travel outside the Citadel's walls. Lauren was not. She knew then that she would have to take better care of her princess than she anticipated. You are now being taken to the world map. Locations will appear as they are discovered in the storyline. Sometimes when you travel to a city, you will encounter a random battle. These battles are optional, unlike the battles that are triggered by the storyline. You can also access the camp button on the map. It will take you to your group's campsite so that you may speak to your party members. Getting to know each character is important to the game and may even lead to romance. What? See what you can find. Hello. Uh, camp. In this screen you can talk to your party members. The available dialogue options change based on the main plot. Talking is completely optional, but can unlock romance options or extra guests. I would like to talk to Lauren. El Eleanor approaches L pushed Lauren tentatively. She looked deep in thought, and it was probably dangerous to disturb her. S disturb her. Nevertheless, she spoke up. Your Highness? Fortunately, Lauren gave her a slight nod of acknowledgement, but nothing more. Forgive me for asking, but I do not know much of the situation. Perhaps if you told me, I could assist you better. What more is there to know? My mother is missing. Yes, but what was the Queen doing to have gone missing? When was the last time you saw her? Lauren raised her chin while her eyes blinked rapidly. I can't tell you much of anything. I wish I could, but I can't. My mother was an immensely private person. But you were asking for the facts, and the facts are that Mother, the Queen, 
whilst not in her bedchamber one morning, and we have not seen her since. And the scouts? Were you not there? They could not find her. Even though they could track a sparrow through a forest, they... They could not find their own queen. Lauren looked away. Eleanor was uneasy in this ensuing silence. But we will succeed where the scouts have failed. Absolutely. The conviction brought hope to her. She uttered a sigh. I already knew that. Yes, your grace. Ooh! I don't know if we want to talk to her more. Maybe she gets annoyed. Available character quests. Please note that the quests have very tough battles. Okay. Ooh! Hearts. Right, Lee. Here we are. What happens if I do this? Ooh, hello. Oh, we have volume controls. Hello. Cool. Alright, but I think we're gonna stop here for uh, today. This was the intro of Lauren the Amazon Princess. And, you know, we'll see what happens with battles and talking to people, getting a party and finding the Queen Amazon and everything. So I hope you guys will enjoy the game and sharing it with me. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you.